Occasionally, a hymn drops into the furrows of history to be buried and forgotten a while, only to later spring to life for future generations. That's what happened to one of Fanny Crosby's 8,000 hymns. It was originally entitled Praise for Redemption and was published in 1875. That song was part of a small hymnal that proved to be a treasure trove, introducing such Fanny Crosby classics as All the Way My Savior Leads Me, Rescue the Perishing, Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross, and the all but forgotten Praise for Redemption. It turned out that Praise for Redemption wasn't much of a hit. In fact, let's call it for what it was. It was a flop at the time. It wasn't widely sung nor included in most hymnals. It just lay hidden like a buried treasure for 80 years. In 1954, Billy Graham was planning an evangelistic crusade in London's Haringey Arena. As Cliff Barrows, the music director for the Graham team, was compiling hymns for the Greater London Crusade songbook, he was approached by Reverend Frank Cahoon, a British preacher at Norwich Cathedral and a great lover of hymns. Cahoon gave Barrows a copy of Fanny Crosby's hymn. Its exuberant chorus said, Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. This inspired Cliff Barrows, and though it was unfamiliar to him, he decided to use this hymn anyway. Meanwhile, problems were mounting for the crusade. The British press was critical of the young evangelist Billy Graham, and an Anglican bishop predicted he would return to America with his tail between his legs. Funds became short, even forcing the Graham team to take pay cuts. A member of parliament threatened a challenge in the House of Commons, accusing Graham of interfering in British politics under the guise of religion. Friends in high places were advising Billy to cancel or to postpone the meetings. Billy Graham, though he was shaken, dropped to his knees repeatedly, beseeching help from heaven, and God answered. As it turned out, the arena was packed for three months, and the crusade sparked a sense of revival across all Great Britain. Crosby's forgotten song seemed a fitting theme. The old hymn was sung almost every night in Haringey Arena, launching it into worldwide popularity as one of Christianity's favorite hymns. If you are scratching your head trying to remember praise for redemption, Perhaps you might know it by the name that Cliff Barrows gave it. To God be the glory. To God be the glory, great things he hath done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son. You'll find it on your song sheet. And join in with us, please, as we lift our voices in song together. To God. 